It's the small spikes that hurt the worst. Hey! What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Studio Series Core Class Exosuit Spike with Wiki. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up top here. We have a nice image of a spike on down here, Exosuit Spike with Wiki from the Transformers, the movie Transformers. Up top we have the Transformers, the movie. On this side, we have Spike. On this side, we have Spike again. He is a core class, a class origin, a core class, a class of nuclear, and a class a nucleo. On the bottom, worst things, barcodes. On the back of the box, we have your obligatory product shots, and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Spike, grown-up Spike, as he appeared in the Transformers, the movie. And yeah, here he is in his exosuit, and I think it looks quite nice, in my opinion. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at that dome, at that domey noggin of his. You can see the uh, dome itself done in the transparent plastic. You can see his head in there. Um, the hair is painted. Got the white collar going on there. They didn't paint anything on his face, so that's a little disturbing looking. But, you know, hey, at least he has a head in there, better than Daniel. So, <laughs> at least he has a face. He got some spots of red in there, some yellow nipples. And that nice coloration there on the body. Got the fists are painted in. And big old feet, big old exo feet. And you got the uh, spiky booty. More like thrusters back there. And whatnot. You can see this half of. I'm just noticing this now, actually. The back of his head has a hole in it. It's just a hollow head there. Somebody already shot him. That's horrible. That's just horrible. I didn't realize that until now. Oh, Lord, that's, that, that's even more disturbing than him not having any paint on his face. That's just like, ah. Anyway. But there is Bike. Now, as far as articulation goes, um, the dome itself can rotate but if you want to move uh spike's head there is this lever right here and you just move that from side to side and that is how you turn his head and that's as far as it goes but so nice you can get some articulation there out of the head um the arms can rotate um if you try to rotate the whole shoulder this wheel section collides with the waist so you don't get too much in terms of that kind of rotation it can rotate the other way around a good amount but you have a lot of hinges here in the shoulders and in the arms to so pretty much get those arms and kind of whatever pose you want to get them in. The hinge allows the arms to move up and down. You have bicep rotation. You have that elbow there that goes forward, also goes back. You also have rotation there as well. Uh, this section is a separate piece that can rotate as well if you need that to move because reasons. Uh, nothing at the waist, although they could have given them a waist joint, but not well. Nothing at the waist, legs. Can move forward that far, back that far, outward. You can almost do the full splits. Um, rotation, your rotation is right here at the knee. It is a ball jointed knee. So you have rotation. Uh, you have 90 degrees of bend at the knee if you just use that one joint, but it does have a double jointed knee. That's due to transformation, but um, it's also a very stiff joint, so I always have to turn his leg around to engage it. But you can turn that around, then turn his knee back around, and that will give you a lot more knee bendage there if you need it so that's quite nice and nothing at the feet they don't move at all now as far as accessories go uh, he includes some little blushes some little baby blushes it's done in a transclearing yellow and if you want you can rotate this part of the arm around the forearms rotate them around and you can plug these here like so, and like a cell. Hey, get in there. Burp, burp, burp. there go. Like that, so you can do a little pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang, and all of that good stuff right there. But since he is compatible with these blushes, you know what else he's compatible with? That's right, the big blushes. That's right, he is big blush computi blah. You can plug these on, get some epicness going on here. 
<laughs> and do a big old double XO. Bloosh! That is too much bloosh for one too for one so small to handle. But you know what? He can make it work. He can make it work. But there, you have that. And now for comparison, here he is with the uh, core class prime. You can see how that works out. Here he is with the uh, the Netflix Bumblebee. Here he is with the Masterpiece Bumblebee. I don't have my original uh, Masterpiece Bumblebee, so I can't do the uh, comparison with that exosuit spike, unfortunately. But here he is with Bumblebee 2.0. Now, I think that works out very well, in my opinion, anyway. I think I'm going to end up displaying this guy on my, uh, on my Masterpiece shelf, honestly. But there you have that. And here he is with Daniel, like father, like son. Although Daniel looks like a linebacker in that pose, and you can't see his face, but you know what? Who cares? Father and son reunited. <laughs> so there you go. So that is basically it for the uh, exosuit mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to bring the arms out. You're going to rotate the arm back and then rotate this forearm piece around like so and then bring the arm in like that second verse just like the first rotate the arm back rotate the forearm in and then just bring the arm in like that then you're going to rotate the arms at the shoulders so the wheels are facing forward like so you're going to take the dome and just give it a uh, quarter turn like that and the upper body is pretty much ready to go so now we'll work on the lower body so you're going to take the legs you're going to rotate them 180 at the knee and then you're going to bring the legs back all the way back like that and then bring the knees up on that upper hinge there like so you can see there are little little tabs here that are going to little notches right there in the knee like that, and then you just tab his feet together. Then you just bring the arms back, and this little section here will just sit right in this little groove right there where the mushroom peg is. It doesn't lock in, it's just a place for it to sit. Like that. And there you go. There you have Spike in his old mode. Get a really good spin out of him, though. Really, really good spin. But there he is in his uh, in his alt mode, and you know it's it's not much. It's weird. It's just kind of it's a kind of like weird yoga pose. But you know what? Okay, okay. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at everything we've already seen. But now it's just in a slightly different configuration. But hey, now it's a it's a thing with with wheels, and you know, hey. I mean, granted, since there's a human being in there, you can only contort everything but so much before you start crushing the person inside. So, yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. You know what I mean? But, <laughs> all in all, here's what it is. There's the top. There's the bottom. Visible heads. I mean, you know, it's the way it's supposed to be. It rolls. He actually rolls very smoothly, too. Nice smooth roll you get out of him. So he rolls as rolling things should. Hooray. Hooray for rolling folded up humans. And for comparison, uh, here he is with the core Prime. With the uh, Netflix Bumblebee. And here he is with uh, Daniel. It's That's the best I can do. So, there you go. And of course, if you want, you can take the uh, little, little blushes here. Plug them back here. And give him some, uh, some rocket power. So you can bloosh. You can do that. All kinds of that. Or he can bloosh! He can do that also. Hey, things you can do if you want to do it. So, there you go. So there you have Spike. And yeah, nice little figure. Um, you know, the, the exosuit, the, you know, the 
quote unquote robot mode, um, <laughs> looks good. You know, the alt mode is nothing fantastic. It is what it is, but really you're buying this just to have the exosuit. And I think that looks the best and that's where this figure really shines. And like I said earlier, I'm probably going to uh, display this guy with my masterpieces because I think he'll fit in perfectly. So yeah, overall quite pleased with him. So there you go. Now, if you would like this or any other studio series figures, you can always check out bigbadtoystore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the studio series playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Love Peace Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Studio Series Exosuit Spike Wit Wiki. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Big Geek, be proud. Palm in your face. Hey, Spike. You ready for moon base duty? Yep. Ready for my first time up in the moon base. Uh, so tell me, um, you know, it, it's safe up there, right? I mean, nothing's going to happen or anything, right? Right? Are you serious, Spike? I mean, come on. Moon base duty is the most boring thing ever. You're, you're lucky if you'll even stay awake up there. Oh. Yeah, sure, of course. I mean, you're probably right. I mean, what could possibly go wrong?